Hey, Techno Studs, and when I say studs, I mean both students and you are awesome. Thanks for joining me. In this video, we're gonna talk about spanning tree protocol. Now, within our networks, we want redundancy. We want redundancy amongst equipment, within our equipment, between our equipment. We want redundancy in most all aspects. Now, one of the problems with that is when we're talking about redundancy of lines between our switches, that can cause some significant problems. And so one of the things to solve that problem is called the spanning tree protocol. So in this module, let's talk about spanning tree protocol. quite a few great videos planned for you. So first of all, the first video that we're gonna start out with is just talking about spanning tree protocol, what it is and how it works. So we'll talk about spanning tree protocol and how it, how it works and what it, it guards against. Then we're gonna get into a component of spanning tree protocol, and that is the spanning tree algorithm. How the algorithm actually chooses the root bridge and elects different ports to actually be shut down so you don't have uh, problems with these redundancy within your network. Then we'll get into an example and we'll talk about the spanning tree algorithm and, and just uh, go walk through that process. We'll get into what's called bridge protocol data units, the, the little packets that get uh, sent or the frames that get sent between these switches so that way spanning tree protocol can work. So it really was what makes spanning tree protocol work. I'll get into another example and we'll go through a, a second example of the spanning tree algorithm after we understand the bridge protocol data units. Then we'll get into more about spanning tree protocol, get a little more in depth look at, into spanning tree protocol. And then we'll, I have some demos on how to set up spanning tree protocol. We'll get into some versions and talk about some different versions of spanning tree protocol. And then finally, we'll apply what we're going to apply to the switch, which is gonna be fairly basic. One thing to note about this module is that you don't need to have this real in-depth view of spanning tree protocol, protocol to get your CCNA. It used to be that, that we would go really in-depth and really get a, do a deep dive into it. So we're gonna talk about the programming and, and do some of the things on the switch of adjusting spanning tree protocol. But for the most part, spanning tree protocol is already on and working. And so you don't need to do a lot of configuration for it. So for that purpose, for the CCNA, you need to know a lot about it or quite a few aspects of it, but you don't need to have this real in-depth knowledge to spanning tree protocol. So that's the uh, how in-depth we're gonna actually cover it within this module.